So let's see how a multi-tier maintenance form can be quickly created utilizing all the benefits of templates. We start by creating a form called MF Customer, and this time we we'll use a component template, the one that we showed before. We we'll now perform the binding between the generic entities and fields in the component template with the model entities and fields. However, we we'll use the component subtypes of type form that we previously created for the entities customer and address. First we bind the customer component subtype and then the address component subtype. Once the binding of the entities is done, we will select each one of the entities and start binding their fields. It is important to remember that by creating component templates, you ensure a consistent way of componentizing your application at the same time that you maintain productivity. We are now going to bind the fields for the entity address. And once the binding is done, the form is generated. This will include code and the form layout. Let's now create the session service to support the business logic and data access tiers of our application. We will also do the binding process but this time we will select the component subtypes of type session service for the entities customer and address. After we bind the generic entities, we will bind their fields. It's important to remember that this session service can be reused in other parts of your application. Now we are binding the fields for the session service address. Once the session service is ready, it will include the operations responsible for retrieving and saving data. So the binding is complete and the session service is created. We we'll now run this application. I'm going to start the debugger so we can see the communication between the form and the session service taking place. We start by pressing the load button. This will call the collections operation on the form. We'll do an XML save to save any retrieve profile and then activate the session service passing the XML stream. In the session service we'll load the XML stream, retrieve the data from the database and save the data into another XML stream.
here's the XML stream. And this will be passed back to the form, which will load the stream and display the data. Uniface provides impact analysis through the use of cross-reference functionality. Cross-reference data identifies where objects are used in the application source. The data can be directly stored in the repository table or can be kept in simple table files and imported when needed. In the viewer you can find out where a particular object has been used, in this case a particular DTD. The results show the list and type of objects that use this DTD and the reference goes to the line number in the source. This concludes our presentation. This concludes our presentation.